good Thursday evening, mid-Missouri. We've got uh, some wet ground across the region. Uh, let me show you some of the rain that we've seen over the last three days. We've had about three nights so far of heavy soaking rains causing some flooding issues, even some severe weather. Uh, but really take a look at how much rain we've seen as a result. It's been excessive in some places, almost eight inches in Moberly. That's seven point five, seven and a half inches in Moberly. Just down the road in Mexico, almost five inches. And these are, I should say, community reports. So these are community rain gauge reports, and these are the highest local readings that we were able to find. So this is likely going to be higher than what you saw in your backyard, but to give you an idea of just how much rain some folks have accumulated in the last three days. But lastly, I want to point out almost nine inches coming near Stover, just over eight and a half over the last three days. And if you just take a look at back at the last 24 hours, it's pretty excessive with some folks getting close to six inches here with that pink color. Now this is radar estimated, so this is still going to be a little different from what you see in your rain gauge, but we're doing our best to estimate this over the last uh, day. And really, you can take a look at where the heaviest rain has been over the last 24 hours. This is where the ground is the most saturated. And you'll see where we have more rain chances later tonight is going to be in some of those same areas. Here we are over the next uh, 12 hours between tonight and tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. We're looking at maybe another inch. Now, this is not nearly going to be the type of setup that we saw last night. Again, I told you we saw about six inches in some places last night. Tonight, we're expecting at the very most, maybe an inch to two inches, but most of us kind of below that. These storms are going to move a little bit quicker, but the concern is that those grounds are saturated and it won't take as much rain to maybe bring up the concern for some isolated flash flooding. And so that's what we have in the forecast tonight. No tornado threat tonight. We had a tornado warning on the board last night. We won't see that tonight. Uh, the threat is hail and wind with any strong storms that develop this evening. We even expect that to be an isolated threat. So no weather alert day going into tonight. No need to stay up and monitor the radar. You can go to bed comfortably this evening. But south of I I-70, maybe more specifically south of Highway 50, we do expect some more thunderstorms to develop tonight. And uh, just given what we've seen the past few days, I want to make sure uh, you understand that we're not expecting the same type of threat. Again, certainly some heavy rain, a lot of lightning and thunder with these, but they're going to move a whole lot quicker. We should be out of here uh, by around 2 to 3 a.m. And that activity pushing away. Still some training showers, some lingering showers, and a few rumbles of thunderstorms through commute time tomorrow. But some very light rain mostly focused south of Highway 50 and will include maybe up to I-70 there. But then as we head towards Friday afternoon, here we are at noon, we're watching some showers working in here from the west. We may even see some thunderstorms with this activity late Friday night. And uh, as we head towards Friday into Saturday, that activity, uh, again, we're going to watch for more activity to roll in from the west. Tomorrow's forecast, again, a lot of dry time through the day, some showers, especially south of I-70, Hit and miss, though, on the radar. Something for you to watch out for. We'll pick up better chances for rain after about 7 o'clock on Friday. And then looking at Saturday again, we'll have another Saturday night into Sunday round that we'll be tracking moving in from the west. Confidence uh, moderate. Uh, we'll see chances for storms. Details further unexact at this point. But as we head towards Monday and Tuesday, confidence is increasing that we're going to see a cool down behind the activity that rolls through Saturday night into Sunday. We could see temperatures approaching low 80s for highs.